Electric scooters. They're everywhere in cities like Los Angeles, and they're the cool new way to get around. I'm having the time of my life. You can make money off the scooters by collecting them and charging them up. This is so wild. The fact that you just pick up a scooter in the middle of the street and put it yeah. in the back of your car. <laughs> Some people take it to an extreme. I'm here to try it out. Do you ever like sling it on? And see how much I can make. I definitely need to work on my technique. Luckily, I found someone who's been charging birds since the program started. The more experience you get, the more scooters you can pick up, and also the more money you can make. Well, let's go find some birds. All right, let's, let's do, it. do it. You have to understand where those scooters are going to be, and then also the time to go out. It says that we're actually right here on top of one. The best time for bird hunting is actually at 9 or 10 at night, when more scooters need charging. So we find one, first ever bird capture, and then meet back up with Harry later on. There's like a little cluster over here of five dollar mm -hmm. ones. Each bird pays three to five dollars per charge. So we head for those that are the most bang for our buck. All right, let's go find it. I feel like we're on a treasure hunt right now. <laughs> one of Harry's top tips is to work as a team. Excellent. All right, bird number two. Bird number two, done. One person can be driving, the other person is looking at the map. I can't damage these, can I? Oh. Teamwork also comes in handy for spotting hidden scooters, like the one we find behind trash cans in an alley. I'm literally, I'm like try. right in the light. My biggest weakness is scanning the QR code. Turns out, hunting down scooters is exhilarating, especially when it gets competitive. <gasps> it got taken. A scooter we're after disappears from the map. Okay, we gotta, we gotta step on it. That means there's another bird hunter close by. You can see there's another charger right here. But we captured it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we just grabbed this one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we were on our way to get one, and it got captured before we got there. And so then I was like, do you think that person's gonna come and try to get this one? And that might have been him. It might have been him that got the we other beat one. Him, so. Stacking the scooters is definitely an art. So it's sort of like you're playing Tetris, right? You I was move it around. Never good at Tetris. Let's charge them up. After a half hour of bird hunting, we have five scooters to charge. Oh wow. Yeah, so this is my <laughs> setup. A lot of <laughs> birds typically cost between eight and twenty-five cents for a full charge. All in, we'll make about twenty-three dollars off the night's haul. And that's just as a casual charger. With the right kind of setup, you can make a couple hundred bucks in one night. Birds are released back into the wild by 7 a.m. the next morning. And until then, upright. We'll make money while we sleep.